right, so let's do this uh, compounding worksheet. All right, you need a box to tell us how much money you have to start with. We'll call that the parents, the principal, and that will go in B1. Then we have the interest rate, uh, T E N T E R E S T. And that will be go in box B2. And then we have how many times it's compounded a year? Oh boy, I'm having trouble typing letters. Saying. So that'll be in box B3. So then we need to make our columns here and we need one for period so that's how many it, that's like if you're compounding monthly then it would be the first month the second month the third month the fourth month if you're compounding daily it's be the first day second day third day and if you're compounding annually it'd be the first year second year third year whatever so depends on how what your compounding is and then we're going to have our beginning balance. And, oh, see, that doesn't fit very well in there. So I'm going to drag this down, make that cell a little bit taller, twice as tall. And then I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to make this cell wrap. Now, there's several ways to get to the formatting. One is... Um, command one on Max and Control one on um, uh, other kind of uh, regular PCs. If you want to, you can also do right click it on uh, right click it on a Mac or PC, and then right click on a Mac, which I'm using as a Control click. And down here is format the cell and alignment. And I want it to be wrapped. Okay. And then I want to get the interest. And then I want to have the ending balance. Oh, looks like I need to wrap that one too. So to do that, I can also go up here and say format the cell. And then it, it'll, I can click on wrap. And that's under alignment. Okay, so let's make it a simple, uh, let's get our periods in here. So that's going to be one, two, or three, and just continue down counting them. So I want to continue the pattern. So I'll, I'll highlight the pattern here, one, two, and so on. And then just drag it down. I'll go down quite a ways here. You don't have to go that far, but I did. 195 cells. Beginning balance. Well, that's always going to be whatever we put in here as our principal. So this is going to equal that box, B1. And it's zero because I don't have a principal in there. So let's put something in there. Let's say it's $100. So then that shows up 100. They just match. And then I'm going to have an interest rate in here. Let's say it's uh, 3%. So 3. And if I type in the percent, then it'll think of it as 0 0.03. 3%. Now, to calculate the interest that we're going to get on our $100, depends on how many times you're compounding in a year. So let's say it's annually, once a year. So, well, let's, let's not. Let's say it's quarterly just so you understand why I have to do this. So here, the interest would be equal to how much money we have in our account, B6, times the interest rate, which would be 3%, but that would be for a full year, and that's that, that box. But I shouldn't get a full 3% every quarter so I should and I'm just getting for one quarter here so I have to divide by 
how many times I'm compounding divided by this box. Now, before I click enter, or even if you do, you need to come back to this formula because we need to adjust it here. Now, when I start copying this cell down by dragging this corner down, this B6 will change to B7, to B8, to B9 because it's relative. And this will change from B2 to B3 to B4, but I want it to stay on B2. So keep the two the same. I can put a dollar in front of it. If I were to copy sideways, I'd want the B not to change too. And so if I really want to just make sure it stays on B2, I can put a dollar sign on the B also. And same with the B3, the compounding needs to stay on this box. So I'm going to put a dollar on the B and on the three. And that way, it'll stay with those. So it says I got 75%, 75 cents in interest. So my ending balance would be, oh, that's just equal to the beginning balance plus the interest. Oop, beginning balance plus, I forgot the plus, the interest. Enter. Now, I don't have to fix those because as I go down, I want this box to be these two added. So that's a relative reference. And then I want this box to equal those two added. So when I copy this down, it's they're going to be relative. Notice it says now, if I click on the formula, it says that box plus that box. And this, I want it to be relative to this, but keeping these same two the same. So let's see if it is. Click on there and it's saying Look at B7, take it times that red box and times divided by that purple box. So it kept those the same, but it let this one change to the next one down. So that's okay. Now this though should be what? Well, the ending balance of month one is the beginning balance for month two. So this box should equal the beginning balance over here. And that should be relative because this one, this box should be equal to the ending balance here. Now I notice one other thing that I have that's a little bit not quite correct and we're talking about money here so we don't get these fractions of cents. So I, I don't really need those to show. So I'm going to click on all of these and format all those cells. I can come up here and do format the cells. Now I'm not doing alignment. I'm doing the number. And I want it to look like, oh, currency. Two decimal places? Yeah, that gives me a penny. Dollar sign? That's fine. I could also just do number and not do dollar signs. And when it's negative, do I want this kind of negative or this kind of negative or this kind of negative. I like the red negative on my computer screen. It wouldn't show if I printed it. I'm not going to get any negatives here, but notice now that it's always to the nearest penny. So now I can copy all three of these down. And I can go all the way down to where I left off, which was 195, I think. Yeah, there. And now it's figuring out my interest. Now let's see if we understand it here. If I put in $100, interest rate 3%, four times a year I get my interest added. So after four of those periods, which is one year, one year would be at four and I got $103. And at 8 would be 106. And 12, 3 years is 109 on that just initial start. If I had put in $500, 3%. If I compounded, so now $500 uh, after one year is uh, $515. But if it goes for... Um, if I compound monthly, change this to a 12, then I get uh, $508, a little bit more. 
and that's it.